morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Oh, thoughts. Today, I want to talk about fandoms if you, and uh, why it's so good to live in them. Boy, I don't know if you really like a side note. Just, look, I love when we start a video with like a side note. That just means it's going to be everywhere. I don't like prepare a lot. I literally like I think about the idea and an idea and I'm like, you know what? I kinda like it. And today I'm like, you know, I kinda wanna talk about like all the fandoms that I like. Uh and uh, why and why I feel so good like liking liking these fandoms. Like by wearing a Slytherin jumper kinda helps, not gonna lie. <laughs> I get the whole Slytherin vibe. I love Harry Potter. That's that's like a staple, like, like st st a staple. Yeah, that's like up in my head. It's just a lifestyle. It's just a yes, of course, not even questionable. I love Harry Potter, and I love the Wizarding World. I love the Wizarding World maybe even more than I love the Harry Potter itself. I like Harry Potter. The story. And yeah, like I'm listening again to the Prince of Azkaban. I'm falling in love again with like all the characters and how well written is, and just like see Harry going through like literally like the, the beginning of his teenage years, see like how he's trying to do with emotions and react to stuff, and how Gryffindor is. Like, oh my god, I, I, I'm just falling in love with the story all over again. Another fandom that I love, 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 love. Again, kind of obvious. Marvel, MCU. Like, oh my god. I love. Marvel. Wanda and Loki are my two favorite characters and yeah you could say I just like them because they just come on the show they just come out like on Disney Plus and everything and like Wanda I always liked Wanda how powerful she was and like how she had to kill uh, the love of her life for the safe of the world and then she had to watch him die again seconds later like the emotional baggage that girl has oh my god love it and Loki like come on come on, come on. <laughs> and yeah like I love the f that now this movie has just come out the Shang Ching 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 Shang Chi Ch 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 and the legend of the ten rings ah amazing like wow I'm very sad for Doctor Strange. I love every, I love magic. I don't know if you guys can like realize like I kind of love magic. But yeah, Marvel is another big one for me. Oh, DC, DC, uh, DCU, yeah. Not so much because they didn't be like I don't know comics. I know a lot of now from the comics because I watch series. That's the thing that I do all the time. Like watch YouTube theories about like Marvel and stuff. But uh, yeah, I didn't. The CU never got that far for me. However, I watched until like season six or seven. I remember the Flash, and that kind of got me into the CU. I love the Flash. I think the Flash is one of the most powerful uh, superheroes of all. Like of everything you can do, it just like run, Barry, run. Also love Star Wars. Do you have a baby of them? I was so addicted to the Mandalorian last uh, Christmas. Like even like I have like a baby of the Christmas jumper. I was very obsessed with the Mandalorian because I love the whole arc. I love the whole story, and we have Grogu. Oh, oh, yes, and and let's talk about like uh, the series Clone War. Where we have Ahsoka, and Ahsoka is like my favorite female character. I think Star Wars, she's probably my favorite character. Not the beginning. I like in the beginning, but like by the end. Perfect. And also the the Siri Rebels, she also appears there, way more mature. And I'm like, yes, please. I love. Ahsoka so much when they said that they were gonna have a series like to her like only focus on her I was so happy because I need Ahsoka. All this just for me to say that uh, There's a lot of fandoms that I love and I love loving them <laughs> if it makes sense 
it's just because like it's another world it's another reality it's another universe and just the morals the values the the literally like the complete different lifestyles or everything that you see gets me so inspired like I think I always go back to Harry Potter because it's Harry Potter but for example Hermione she made me she made me want to read books she made me want to study uh, she made me want to learn more but Ron also showed me like it's okay to ju to be to be you. Ron is such like a pure heart that just show like how good he is and just like what it's like to be that good. Like you're not weak to be that pure heart to give everything you've got to everyone because that's Ron. Ron is always giving everything of himself and I love it. But yeah, other fandoms like again what uh, Wanda went through. Loki, even like Loki realizing uh, the series Loki, it's perfect, it's amazing, it's a whole arc. And I just like living in these realities because they are fantastic, they, they are magical, they are completely different from our reality, they have more color, they have more life, they have more adventures. And I don't know, I feel like... When you when I put like little things of that in my lifestyle or even like as decoration and everything, it just makes me feel so happy and almost like I'm part of the world. Like the whole house sortation that exists in uh, uh for like the Harry Potter fans, that makes us feel like so included. Uh, I love the fact that I'm a Slytherin. That I like the wizarding world sometimes better than Harry Potter because the wizarding world shows that uh, Slytherins are not bad people. We just have bad I know I've been talking a lot, and I just wanna I just wanna talk about like all these fandoms that I love because I love chatting about them, and I just say like it's so good to to have them as like almost like a moral guide, you know? Cause it teach like this teaches so much. Like, the whole Tony Stark arc. I love Tony, like one of my favorite characters of, of like the first of the first uh, six. My favorite character of the first six for sure. It's just we can see them as people and we can see them as superheroes and it's uh, I love the fact that they are not perfect. I think that was one of the things that I didn't like so much about Captain America. First of all, it's called Captain America. I feel it's too many, like, too much. Look at the states. Like, we are the best. I don't know. I feel like it was a little bit like that in the beginning, and I didn't like that. Like, we see them as people. We see them uh, with flaws. We see them, like, growing up becoming like the heroes that they wanted to be in the beginning but they didn't know how and we see them like falling and learning and getting up again all franchises we saw Ahsoka doing that Ahsoka realizing that her mentor Ahsoka from like a pad one to realizing that the Jedi's are flawed that she doesn't want to be a Jedi because I love when Ahsoka I'm no Jedi she's more powerful than Jedi because She's honest. She sees the world as it is. And I just like this character. I just like living in these realities because it's so good to know that we can trust these characters because we see these characters growing. We see these characters falling, getting better. And we see the intention in their hearts and the whole world around it. It's so different from ours and amazing and this episode like makes any sense at all but I'm literally like I think I'm just like in defense of the fandoms <laughs> just because it's so good to live in them and if you don't know to make a lot of friends like I don't have like friends friends I don't have a lot not to feel sorry for me nothing like that it's just because like moving to another country and working and like you have work friends and you have friends from your country from your country however like the relationships, like, you stop talking to each other because you don't see each other, you don't hang out. So having this fandom, having like 
these realities it's so good it makes me feel like I'm part of like their group I've been like I can talk about this theme for so long from now I'm gonna go I'm gonna get ready gonna go to work enjoy your Tuesday have an amazing day and I see you all tomorrow bye